creepy. How is her head bending backwards that far? That cannot be healthy, lady. That cannot be healthy. You need to get that fixed. I can only bend my head this much. Nope, nope, nope. This must be a camera trick. But even her eyes are like rolled back. I can't deal with this picture. How long did it take you to see this girl's actual face? It took me a while. A while, I tell you. If you look really closely, this is her eye and this is her eye. And then she's just done this with her hair like this. And then she's used like makeup to make it look like there's two faces. I think this lady has a career in makeup and I need to stop doing this, whatever I'm doing. They said this was just an effect from developing the photo. I say, sure, buddy. I know a scary ghost when I sees one. That is a scary ghost. You see this, this is his head. These are his arms. This is like totally a scary ghost. He even has a t-shirt line. He's wearing a white shirt. Scary ghost, get out of the pictures. This isn't actually a creepy photo. It's a pretty messed up prank. So basically what you do is you take a picture of your face while it's all like smushed. Like you put it against a, a glass window or something, you take a picture of it, and then you take the actual picture and you put it into a glass jar and it just looks like you have a head in a glass jar. I mean, it's great for Halloween, I guess. Other than that, it's, uh, it's, it's not too great. Nope. I don't want this. At first, you're like, oh, she looks perfectly innocent. She's not doing anything. Well, if somebody looks too innocent, let me tell you, they're not innocent at all. If you look at the little edge of the bed, you'll see a face. And then you think, oh my, that is creepy. But really, she's just hiding some man in her bedroom. Like I said, not very innocent. The boyfriend comes home while she's another boy there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That or they're just playing a really good game of hide and seek. Wow, okay, that guy's, oh, he looks angry. Okay, I bet this isn't even a ghost. You know how I know? He's too angry to be a ghost. I bet this is just some guy who's banging on the back of her car because she's like, lady, stop taking selfies and move. The light has been green for like three minutes now. We need our selfies, okay? When you first look at this, it looks like some hand is reaching for the kid. But it's really just his own hand, you know? Like he's kind of doing one of these situations, you know? Like one of these, like one of these. And we got food. I know it's really important to brush your teeth, like really important for your dental health. But sometimes it's okay to skip brushing. Times like these, totally okay. I'm not judging. If there is a giant, spider about to eat you okay he's not gonna eat you but he's right there beside your toothbrush you know what i say you skip brushing your teeth that day okay i'm not brushing my teeth with that spider around i'm sure your parents will understand here is another creepy photo i'm gonna give you guys three seconds to find the creepiness three two one yeah it's right there oh that pink lipstick totally doesn't go with her skin tone. I'm joking, I love the pink lipstick. But in the mirror, do you see that? That gremlin looking thing? I'm, I'm not down. It's not easy working in the sewers. You gotta work literally with the clown from it. Look, it's right there. I mean, this must be some type of optical illusion. I don't know, do we really need workers in the sewers? Because I'm not down. This is an oldie but a goodie. And what I mean by that is I've shown it on the channel before, but it's an oldie. But a goodie, so I'm gonna show it again. How she do that? If anybody has figured out this mystery, please let me know, because I can't figure it out. Literally, she's looking right at us, but her reflection is also looking at us. What is this magic? Now this picture is really creepy. The so little kid on the right didn't want to be in the picture because the kid said the boy that was in the picture was very creepy. And everybody's like, what are you talking about? There is no boy here. And they didn't know until after they saw the photo. That story is probably made up, let's be real, but. It's creepy, right? It looks just like a normal girl posing beside nature, right? But then what's in the trees? What's in the trees? Looks like two, 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 two guys. Are they spying on her? I don't approve. Okay, at first I'm like, okay, she's just talking her phone and her room is messy, like nothing abnormal here. Pretty much like every other teenager, am I right? But then you look at her legs and you're like, legs aren't supposed to bend like that. How she do that? Girl, got gotta get those legs checked. I am hoping that this photo is either fake or some type of weird effect created by shadows. If not, this is definitely the creepiest photo I have ever seen. <laughs> Why? Why does this exist? Imagine you just bringing the groceries back to the van and then bam, snake in the van. I would never drive again. I would, you know, leave that minivan and, you know, finders keepers, it's all yours. But the snake comes with it. To be honest though, I'm not afraid of snakes. As long as I'm like 100% sure 
they're not poisonous. But I don't know if it's a random snake, if it's poisonous or not. I have no idea. And I'm not taking my chances because you know what? I like living too much. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm not taking my chances with no random snake. If it's somebody's pet, then I know it's safe because nobody's going to have a venomous snake as a pet. Hope not at least. That just seems like a bad idea. Imagine being real thirsty and then looking down into your straw, about to take a sip and you see the spider. You almost swallowed it. Ooh, that just sends shivers up and down my spine. At this point, like, it's ruined for me. Whenever a bug touches my food, it's ruined. Like, I, I know realistically the bug isn't that dirty and my food is completely fine and it probably, like, touched one french fry and then I still got another hundred left to go. They're all ruined. All of them are contaminated. Like, I cannot eat them anymore. Am I the only person like this? This actually happened to me a few days ago. That's why I said french fries. A wasp landed on my french fry and then I had to throw all of them away. I was like, too grossed out. I'm a little bit of a germaphobe. I like choosing who I share my food with. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame her. She looks a little grumpy, but I don't blame her. She's at a restaurant, not a photo shoot. Some people don't want the selfies. What is going on? What type of treatment is- Is this like some type of treatment? Is this supposed to make people young forever? I'd rather just age <laughs> at this point than having fire on my face. So this guy left a mask in his shed and a bunch of hornets created a nest around the mask and it resulted in probably one of the scariest things ever. It, it just looks like something straight out of a horror film and I'm not living for it. Okay, so what's going on here? Is somebody in cosplay or is that like some weird tree, tree branch or something? Cause oh no, or does this person just really need to get a nail file? They really need to go get a mani-pedi Trim down those nails because this is too too long. This is way too long. I think long nails are pretty. I don't have them right now, but I, I try sometimes. But this this is too far. Like how do you how do you pick your nose without like literally poking an eye out? Looks like a normal selfie until you look at the top right corner and then you see something is up. And I don't like it. They must be McDonald's, right? Because that's Ronald McDonald in the background, I hope. If not, then that's some creepy stuff, man. Some creepy stuff. This must be the creepiest looking basement I've ever seen. I didn't even think it was possible for that much spider webs to exist. It's literally like, how would you get through? And thinking of them all sticking to you, I... Not down. Imagine looking out your window and seeing this. All these birds. Like, I think birds are awesome, but not this many of them. Like, I'd be like, what's happening? Why are they here? Have they come to eat me? Are they here to take over this city? Damn. Remember what I said earlier about snakes? I, I, don't, I don't want to be close to this snake. He just came out and ate this giant fish. I already thought the fish was able to eat me. And no, 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 no. The snake was like, you scared of that fish? Let me show you something new. How things attacking me in water scare me a lot more than things attacking me on land. Speaking of which, I got attacked by a jellyfish and I have a, I don't know if I can show you guys. See here, the marks. Okay, to be fair, I didn't get attacked by a jellyfish. I sat on a jellyfish. <laughs> I guess I kind of attacked it and then it stung me as revenge. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. And then I sat on the board right on top of a jellyfish and it hurt so bad. And I started screaming and freaking out because I'm a little scared of jellyfish because I'm like, I don't know, are they gonna kill me or not? I think it might have already been dead too, like before I sat on it because it wasn't in the water. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Can jellyfish survive outside of the water? I really should look where I sit down from now on. Like I shouldn't just like blindly sit down anywhere because that could happen. Oh, it's the teeth, they're so creepy. They just go, I mean, I like calamari, but this, mm, I don't like the look of this. So there's a light that went on in an abandoned hospital. If that ain't creepy, I don't know what is. I mean, people love to sneak into abandoned buildings, but it's still really creepy. I'm still not down. I'm not sneaking into any abandoned nothing. I don't want to die. Oh, this sends shivers down my spine. Like, look how creepy the drawings are. And this dark hallway. I'm not this brave. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want that doll. I don't, I can't. Honestly, I need to end this video because I'm gonna have nightmares. I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat. I know you guys are all probably braver than I am, but I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other, and don't have nightmares. I'll give you hugs. Bye.